It's no secret that the world is facing some serious environmental challenges. From rising global temperatures, more frequent and severe natural disasters, to dwindling natural resources. Climate change in particular stands as one of the most pressing issues of our time, threatening not only our planet's delicate ecological balance, but also our very way of life. In response to this global environmental crisis, a resounding call to action has emerged. Governments, organizations, and individuals globally are rallying in commitment to sustainability and the reduction of their carbon footprints. Amid this pivotal juncture, Green Fintech has emerged as a dynamic force at the intersection of finance and environmental responsibility, driven by the urgency of our times. Green Fintech isn't just a passing buzzword. Its swift rise reflects the growing recognition that traditional financial practices have often aggravated environmental crises through investments in fossil fuels, unsustainable agriculture, and irresponsible lending. Green Fintech steps in to offer a transformative path, leveraging financial technology to redirect capital towards renewable energy projects, conservation initiatives, and sustainable business. So in this video, we'll explore the profound impact, challenges, and promising prospects of Green Fintech. We'll discuss how this fusion of finance and technology is charting a course towards a future that not only ensures financial stability, but also making our world a greener and more ecologically resilient place to live. If that sounds interesting to you, then let's chat about it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeremy and if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so because on this channel I speak about fintech, digital transformation and agile strategy. Green fintech, also known as sustainable fintech or eco fintech, is a relatively recent notion that often refers to the application of financial technology or fintech to address environmental and sustainability challenges. It involves using innovative digital tools, platforms and services to promote environmentally responsible practices, investments, and financial decision-making. Green Fintech aims to align financial activities with sustainability goals and tackle issues such as climate change, resource conservation, and social responsibility. Green Fintechs are helping to broaden the spectrum of financial services available from giving services to the enormous number of unbanked individuals to building green bond platforms. Now, I think it goes without saying why green fintech is important, but in case we need a reminder, here are a few reasons. For one, the urgency of environmental challenges like climate change is, well, urgent. Green Fintech helps us to do something about it. It channels financial resources into eco-friendly ventures like renewable energy, sustainable agriculture, and clean tech. Second is that investors, both individual and institutional, are increasingly seeking sustainable and responsible investment opportunities. Green Fintech meets this demand by offering tools and platforms that allow investors to align their portfolios with their sustainability goals. Thirdly is that governments and regulatory bodies worldwide are implementing policies and regulations that encourage sustainable finance practices. In Singapore, for example, the central bank, the MAS, introduced the Green Finance Action Plan in 2019, outlining a comprehensive strategy to develop a sustainable financial ecosystem. Now, this included initiatives like the Green Bond Grant Scheme, which subsidizes issuance costs for green bonds. Beyond Singapore, countries like the UK, Switzerland, and China have introduced their own green fintech policies, fostering innovation, sustainable investments, and integration of environmental factors into financial decision-making. These policies collectively support the global transition towards greener finance, aligning economic growth with environmental responsibility. Also, the growth in consumer awareness of the environmental gaps that exist has led to a demand for more eco-friendly financial services. Green fintech platforms empower consumers to make sustainable choices with their money from banking to investments. The advancements in technology, data analytics, and blockchain have made it easier as well for green fintech solutions to flourish. These technologies enhance transparency, reduce costs, and improves access to sustainable finance options. And last but certainly not least, green fintech demonstrates that profitability and sustainability can go hand in hand. It offers financial products and services that not only align with ethical environmental values, but also deliver competitive returns, attracting investors and businesses alike. Now, some notable green fintech companies taking the lead are TreeCard, Tomorrow, Tree Lion, Stripe Climate, Trine, and Aspiration. So let's take a closer look at what they do. 
TreeCard is an impact first business that produces a unique wooden payment card that Sutton Bank issues. This MasterCard debit card is made of sustainably sourced FSC wood and recycled plastic bottles. TreeCard dedicates the majority of its interchange fees, which would typically have gone into profit, to planting trees. Users can track their spending, refer friends, and see how many trees they have already planted with their money. Tomorrow is a fintech company that focuses on sustainable banking and financial services. Tomorrow's mission is to help users manage their money in a way that aligns with their sustainability goals. With the Tomorrow app, users can track their carbon footprint, receive tips on reducing their environmental impact, and support eco-friendly projects through their banking activities. The company aims to provide banking services that promote sustainable choices and contributes to a more environmentally conscious and socially responsible lifestyle. Tree Lion is one of the most interesting sustainable fintech companies out there. Tree Lion has a blockchain-based solution that brings a decentralized network to launch and manage green digital products of all kinds. The product is dedicated to the enablement of green economy capital flows and the creation of large-scale green digital ecosystems. Stripe Climate is a special service launched by Stripe who are already a giant of the payments and payouts market. With this new idea, businesses can contribute funds to carbon removal operations and receive eco-conscious endorsement statuses from Stripe. Stripe Climate is an excellent example of how widely established financial companies can embrace fintech successfully because Stripe has already committed $15 million to carbon removal technology. Next is Trine. Now, Trine is a model for success in the sustainable fintech industry. This Swedish company facilitates green investments and uses the funds to produce and manage solar energy products. Trine has helped millions of households receive electricity by accepting temporary loans from users to distribute solar products and repaying that amount with interest. It's like a bank certificate of deposit, but it's guaranteed to go to a sustainability cost. Aspiration is a challenger bank supported by Ironman and I mean Robert Downey Jr. Aspiration calls itself a purpose-driven climate action company. They use customer deposits to support climate action initiatives and Aspiration is currently focused on reforestation and building an alternative retirement system. So now that we've explored the remarkable rise of green fintech, it's essential to address the challenges it faces, many of which are critical to overcome for sustainable finance to reach its full potential. One significant challenge lies in standardization and transparency. Green investments encompass a wide range of assets from renewable energy projects to sustainable agriculture and green technology. For instance, when it comes to green bonds, there's a need for universally accepted criteria to define what makes a bond green. Without clear standards, investors may struggle to distinguish between genuinely environmentally friendly investments and those that merely claim to be green. This lack of standardization can lead to confusion and undermine the credibility of green finance. Another challenge relates to the accuracy of environmental data. Green fintech relies heavily heavily on data about the environmental performance of assets and projects. However, the accuracy and reliability of such data can vary widely. For example, assessing the carbon emissions reduction of a renewable energy project can be complex and inaccurate data can lead to misinformed investment decisions. Ensuring the integrity of this data is crucial to maintaining trust in green finance. Additionally, greenwashing remains an ongoing concern. Now, greenwashing occurs when financial products or investments are promoted as environmentally friendly, but in reality, Reality, they have minimal or no positive impact. For example, a company might label its financial product as green while its underlying investments support fossil fuel industries. Detecting and preventing greenwashing is again essential to maintaining the credibility and integrity of green finance and green fintech. And lastly, scalability is a significant challenge. While green fintech has gained traction, it needs to expand to make a meaningful difference in addressing environmental challenges. Convincing mainstream investors of the long term viability of green investments is crucial for attracting the necessary capital. For instance, consider a green fintech startup specializing in carbon offset investments. To scale up, it needs to attract a more extensive and diverse investor base beyond the early adopters who are already committed to sustainability. However, mainstream investors may require clearer risk assessments and standardized reporting to feel confident in allocating their capital to carbon offset projects. As governments, businesses, and investors become increasingly committed to sustainability, addressing these hurdles will be essential to realizing the full potential of green finance in building a more sustainable future. Looking ahead, the prospects 
prospects for green fintech are undeniably promising. As governments worldwide commit to sustainability, regulatory support will most likely increase, providing a conducive environment for green fintech to thrive. The integration of sustainability factors into financial decision-making is poised to become the norm, reshaping the investment landscape. Additionally, technological advancements will play a pivotal role. AI, blockchain, and big data analytics will enable more accurate risk assessments and enhance the transparency of green investments. The adoption of green fintech by large financial institutions will further legitimize and amplify its impact. Ultimately, green fintech is more than just a trend. It's a movement towards a more sustainable and responsible financial system. As it continues to gain momentum, it has the potential to drive not only financial prosperity, but also a healthier planet for generations to come. So stay tuned because the journey is just beginning and the future looks remarkably green. I hope you found this video valuable and if you did, then remember to hit the like button and leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys.